Hello. This is the fifth video in a series covering live CDs. You may also have heard them referred to as rescue disc or boot discs. Live CDs are very useful to technicians when they're working on a computer that won't boot into Windows or when they're working on a computer that's so badly infected with viruses that typical antiviruses can't remove them. Live CDs are also great for data recovery, password recovery and resets, and diagnostics. And in this video I'm going to show you part in magic. To give you an idea of how a live CD works, you first download the ISO file, burn it to a disk, and with the disk in the CD or DVD drive, restart your computer and the computer will boot into the live CD. You can then perform your tasks, and when you remove the disk from its drive, the computer will boot back into its original operating system. And I have Windows 7 Professional running in VirtualBox right now. My user's name is Win7 Pro. And I have my live disk in the DVD drive, and I'm going to restart the computer. When it first boots into the disk, you have 20 seconds to select the menu item, or it will automatically boot into the default settings, and I'm just going to let it boot into the default settings. And once it's booted into Parted Magic, on the right side of the desktop you have the system monitor, which is monitoring everything from CPU usage to RAM usage to the top five processes running that are taking up CPU usage and the top five running processes that are taking up memory usage. On the left side you have a lot of different icons, different features here. You have File Manager, which gives you access to the file systems. And if I was trying to retrieve files from Windows Operating System, I would simply just go into the hard drive and here's the Windows folder and then here's the Users folder. If I open the Users folder here's Win7 Pro so that's the user that I pointed out earlier. If I open that folder I could go to Documents. I had created two folders prior to the video to show you how this works plus I also have the IOBit Uninstaller Executable in this folder and if I had important documents in these folders that I needed to retrieve I could simply just copy and then paste it into my external hard drive or USB drive, whichever one you're using. And you can do that with all these files for your videos, your pictures, your music. And that's an easy way to gain access to the Windows files. You have the system profiler, the keyboard layout, your disk health, network manager where you can configure or troubleshoot networking problems. You have disk eraser which is a very powerful hard disk eraser. You have a partition editor which is gparted and you also have a disk cloning tool. Down at the start menu, under accessories there's quite a few features including text editing and file encryption. Under desktop settings it's the typical features, your keyboard layout, you can set the time zone. Under graphics you have image viewer and a screenshot program. There's lots of places to go for help. Under multimedia you have the ISO burner, the disk burner, plus the music player. A lot of different features in networking including firewall configuration, VNC viewer, and remote desktop to Windows. System tools is loaded with features including disk cloning, Ghost for Linux which is a backup recovery and imaging software, hardware lister which will list all of the information on your hardware. Again you have partition editor, photo rec which is a good photo recovery software. There's also Task Manager and Test Disk. So as you can see, this one's just loaded with features. And one other thing I want to point out, it does have an antivirus, ClamScan Antivirus. And ClamScan will work both with Linux and Windows operating systems. I would suggest downloading and printing the program to disk and then playing around with it just to get used to the features and capabilities. There's a lot to this one. If you're having trouble or don't know how to burn an ISO image to disk, please see my video on Image Burn. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.